Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can get the full HD recording of your screen onto YouTube without those black stuff around and clear full HD 1080p. First thing you will need is QuickTime. Just open up your web browser, go to Google and type in QuickTime. Go to Apple's website and um, choose, choose your thing, whichever one it is and rather go with um, with iTunes or without iTunes whichever one you want and just download it install it and then you will need Camtasia Studio to do that you would um, you need a video it doesn't matter how it is a small one just that's okay so once you do it, open up Camtasia Studio go to batch productions add files and projects and just go through like there goes the one I previously did which is perfectly fine um, go next you go to preset manager new so here you could just type in like your username for YouTube now I'll type mine in choose MOV now this which is QuickTime movie it won't work without if you don't have QuickTime installed I'm so install it and then you go to QuickTime and click on next Oops, yep. Go to your come here. Go to QuickTime options. Go to settings. Now you can keep that on this, the compression type. Frames, frame rate, make it 30. Make this on best. And encoding, make it best quality. And the rest will be perfectly fine. You go OK. You, there, there's nothing really that you could do. You go on to size, you YouTube's. And you think so that'll be this one HD nineteen twenty by ten eighty and you go OK. You go to the sound settings, put it on stereo and make it forty eight, which is fine. Go OK. Now you go next. Here I type in your screen resolution, which mine is nineteen twenty by ten eighty luckily. By ten eighty. Your screen resolution. If you don't know how to get your to your screen resolution, this is how you do it. You right click there you go screen resolution and you get what it is okay um once you get your screen resolution you go next if you want to include a model watermark which I have a which is um which is right there you just click there and go options you choose your watermark which mine is in my documents I believe yep see like something like that open it and just I use transparent color so the white stuff around the show that you could make it like a 23% that's what I like it at image scale will make it like 13 or something that you can put it wherever you want in the middle or whatever it's up to you but I like it right there on the corner you go ok and then finish close and cancel and yeah that's about it that's how you do it